Good day everyone at welcome to my math class. Muli ako ang inyong lingkod, Sir Jolan M. Sereño. And for today's tutorial, ang ating lesson is about seconds, tangents, segments, and sectors of a circle. So part 1 nito, dahil uh, itong lesson na to ay meron tatlong competency. So per competency yung gagawin natin para mas maintindihan nyo. So by part yung ating discussion sa topic na to. Okay? So simulan natin siya. By having our objective, so after going through this lesson, you're expected to illustrate seconds, tangents, segments, and a sector of a circle. Okay, so here, so how to achieve that? We need to know how to identify and name seconds, tangents, segments, and sectors of a circle. So ito yung kailangan nating ma-achieve para makuha natin yung ating goal for today's lesson. Okay? So, let's start with our math concept for today. So, we have here the definition of a tangent line. So, what is a tangent line? It is a line which is coplanar with a circle and intersects it at most one point. And then, so ito yung kanyang magiging illustration. As you can see, we have here a circle and then a tangent line. This one, this itong line PQ which is coplanar with the circle. So, it, they are on the same plane. Okay, and intersects it in at most one point. So, at exactly one point lang yung magiging intersection ng line natin sa circle. So, in this illustration, if this is our tangent line, PQ, in connection to circle C, ang intersection niya is yung sa point A. So, at exactly one point. Okay, so yun yung ating keyword dyan. And then for a second is a line that intersects a circle at exactly two points and contains a chord of a circle. So dito naman, uh, at exact two points naman, compared sa tangent, at only one point, sa second naman, two points. So here, if it is our line, line MN, so as you can see, connection to circle A, nagkaroon sila ng intersection sa point M at saka sa point N. And it contains a chord. So, kung titignan natin, kung magiging segment ito, yung line segment natin MN is a chord sa circle A. So, kaya yung ating second contains a chord of a circle. Kasi dumaan siya no, sa loob ng circle at exactly two points siya. So, point M and point N. Okay? So, that is our second. Next concept is the external second segment is a part of the second segment that is outside the circle. So, dito naman, titinan natin difference niya. Okay, so external second segment. So, from the name itself, we have the external. So, nasa labas yan. So, kung meron tayo ngayong second segment, ito yung ating segment. No, yung P, PR natin dito is a segment. Na second, yan. And then segment, so here, from point Q to point P, yun yung ating external second segment. Bakit? Nabuo kasi itong segment na to outside the circle. No? Now here, itong PQ natin, ay papangalan natin external second segment, itong line segment PQ. Kasi nga, na-form siya outside ng ating given circle. And then, yung tangent segment naman is a part of the tangent line. So, here, yung alam natin, yung tangent line, no, uh, intersects the circle at exactly one point. So, ito namang tangent segment is a part of the line. So, alam natin na yung line, uh, part of that is a segment, no? Yung line is composed of segments. Kaya yung ating uh, tangent segment na to, itong PS. Yan. Itong ating line segment PS naman is a tangent segment. So, ano intersection niya sa circle? Doon sa point S. Doon yung kanyang point of intersection na tiyatawag yan point of tangency. So, yan yung tatawagin nating tangent segment. It is a part of the tangent line. Okay? Now, for our... Next concept, we have the sector of the circle and the segment of the circle. So, ano ba ang kaibahan nila? So, sector of the circle is the region bounded by an arc of the circle and the two radii to the end points of the arc. So, ulitin natin, it is a region bounded by an arc of the circle and the two radii to the end points of the arc. So, tingin natin, ito siya, no? 
Ito yung magiging illustration ng ating sector of the circle. So, tingnan natin. Bounded by an arc. Ito yung kanyang arc. And then, two radii. No? Two radii. Ito. Radii ito. So, radius ito ng circle and then another radius. So, pag pinagsama natin, kinuha natin yung intersection niya, makakabuo siya dito ng isang area or region sa circle. So, tatawagin natin siyang sector. So, it's like a bounded. Parang nagkumuha ka, nagcut ka ng piece of uh, uh, slice sa bread or sa pizza. No? So, ito yung magiging part natin, itong triangular form na to. So, yung area na yan, natatawagin natin sector of the circle. So, it is uh, bounded by an arc and then uh, a radius and another radius no, uh, radii. So, nakaborm tayo dito ng sector. Okay, next. A segment naman. Segment of the circle is the region bounded by an arc and the segment joining its endpoints. So, yung endpoints natin dito is that itong ating arc. So, same with the sector. May arc siya. But here, ang kailangan lang natin is a segment. So, it's like a chord. It is a bounded by an arc and a segment. To be specific, it is a chord. So, pwede siya ng chord dito. Ayan. So, itong segment na to, and then itong part na to, yan nga yung tatawagin nating segment of the circle. So, makikita nyo yung kaibahan niya. Parehas yung uh, region or part of a circle, but here, ang kaibahan nila is how they were created. So, paano ba sila na-form? Itong sector na-form siya gamit ang uh, two radii and an arc. Pero dito naman sa segment of the circle, an arc and a segment or a chord. Ganun yung kanyang composition. So, yun yung magiging difference silang dalawa. Okay? So, yun yung tatawag natin sector of the circle at saka segment of the circle. Okay, let's have now an example. Let's do this. Okay, use circle M to identify and name the following. So, this is our circle M. Okay, point M ito. So, ibig sabihin ito yung ating center ng ating circle ngayon. And then, you need to identify first the points. No? We have here D. Uh, ito, letter J ito. Okay, emphasis lang natin na yan. That is uh, point J. Okay, ayan. Okay, point J ito, ang part na to. And then, E. And then, we have yung A. And then, you have B. And then L, and then yung ating K. So, these are the points here on the circle. Okay. Now, we need to identify the following. The tangent line, second, external second segment, tangent segment, sector of a circle, and segment of a circle. Okay. So, titinan natin kung paano siya ma-identify. So, let's answer the following. First is a tangent line. So, here we have here now the line segment DE. Okay, so DE is a tangent here. Bakit? Kasi ang kanyang intersection lang sa circle is at point J. So, nagkaroon lang siya ng Y intersection sa circle, kaya siya naging tangent line. Next is second. So, again, ang second is uh, intersection sa circle at exactly two points. So, ang sagot natin dito is yung KJ, ito. So, nasa ng kanyang intersection? Nasa point J at saka point A. And then, ito naman sa KL. Okay. Sa KL naman, line segment KL. It is the second kasi nagkaroon siya ng intersection sa circle at exactly two points. Yun yung point B at saka yung point L. Okay. So, yun yung ating two second line. Next, external second segments. So, ito yung uh, segments na na-form outside ng circle. So, ang sagot natin dito is line segment AK. Ayan, kung titinan natin, itong AK neto ay part ng ating segment KJ kanina, dito sa number 2. So, part siya. Ngayon, itong AK kasi ay na-form na outside the, the circle M. Kaya ngayon siya tatawagin natin, external second segment. So, ganun din ang BK. Ang BK na to, line segment BK, ay part ng second KL. Okay? Ito, yung KL natin. Line segment KL natin is identified to be the second. At meron siyang part dito na na-form outside the circle. At yun yung ating line segment BK. Kaya ngayon, itong line segment BK natin ay tatawagin natin external second segment. So, dito meron tayong dalawang external second segments. Yun yung line segment AK at saka line segment BK. Okay? Next, tangent segment. So, ito naman... Uh, it's uh, from the tangent line. So, kukuha ka lang doon ng part. So, kung ito yung ating tangent line. So, ngayon, pwede nating sabihin na yung segment DJ. 
okay is a tangent segment is only part of the tangent line and then j e is also a tangent segment it is part of the tangent line d e okay yung d e natin kasi yung ating tangent line so therefore uh, yung parts niya so meron tayong dalawa dito na na-identify ito yung dj line segment dj at line segment je okay next yung sector of a circle so again Sector of a circle is a region bounded by an arc and uh, a radii, no? a radii or a radius. No? Two radiuses tayo dyan. So, dito ang region na na-form natin is ito, yung uh, angle J, M, A, yan. So, yung na-form natin na to, ito yung dalawang radius natin. Eh. Ayan, no? Okay, and then ito yung arc natin, A, K. So, bounded yan. So, itong triangular form na ito. Ito, yung pa-pizza part na yan. yan. So, itong shaded area na to, yan yung ating sector of a circle. Okay? Now, so, syempre, hanapin natin yung segment of a circle. This a region bounded by uh, line segment J, A. Ito lang. Itong maliit na part lang yung magiging segment. No? Kaya nga, segment lang siya, eh, part lang siya. So, in comparison sa laki, mas malaki palagi yung sector of a circle kung isosolve natin siya. So, dito, ang segment of a circle natin ay eh, ito lang. So, itong part lang na to, tingnan lang natin, highlight lang natin. So, itong part lang na to, ayan, yung kinukulayan ko, palitan natin na medyo visible na kulay. Ito, ayan, ayan. Itong kinukulayan ko na part, itong maliit na part na to, ayan. So, ito lang yung segment of a circle. Ayan lang. Okay? Yan lang yung segment of a circle kasi yan lang yung region bounded by the arc uh, JA. Yan. Pero compared mo sa sector of a circle, sa sector of a circle, so bounded by this arc, okay, at itong ating uh, radii, you know, radii natin yung dalawa. So, ang sakop niya is itong buong ito. Okay? Kaya in terms of area, mas malaki yung nasa sakop ng sector of a circle compared doon sa segment of a circle. Okay, so ganun lang siya. Ganun lang natin siya i-identify kapag nandun na siya sa isang circle. Okay, so uh, I hope uh, na gets niyo yung part na yan sa pag-identify natin ng mga parts sa isang circle. Yung ating focus is yung tangent at saka yung sa second part. Okay, so thanks for watching. Uh, sana nagkustuhan ninyo ang ating tutorial at may natutunan kayo. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe kayo sa aking YouTube channel para mas updated kayo sa mga tutorials na gagawin ko pa. Okay, so muli, uh, maraming salamat. Uh, stay healthy and safe. God bless us all.